Good evening, everyone. Uh, Friday evening, all of us here for Manufacturing Future Factories. Really appreciate you, all of you taking time for this session. Uh, my name is Vinay. I'm from Salesforce India. I uh, lead the industry's vertical for Salesforce. Uh, what I'm going to talk about is uh, Salesforce for manufacturing. So when we talk about manufacturing and future factories, right, what you're actually ma producing in your factories, you're going to be selling it to your customers, right? So I'm going to be taking a little slight, you know, uh, a twist to this future factories, and I'm going to be telling you how you can engage with your customers for what you produce in your factories. So how do you connect that whole value chain? That's the theme of my presentation. But before I go forward, I think uh, this is a safe harbor statement. This is, you will see this in every Salesforce slide. Uh, basically, what we are saying is, when you're making a buying decision, please make your buying decision as per the product and features that are currently available. So if you're going to make your buying decision, don't make it on the basis of something that's coming up in future. But uh, from there, like I said, I really want to thank you for your time today. You know, you all have taken time from your busy schedule. You're here, you know, from your work hours. Uh, really appreciate your time. Uh, I appreciate also for your intent that you're here because you all come here to really take a few things out of this session back into your factories, back into your business, and see how we can add value to that. So coming to adding value, I think this is something that I'm really, really, uh, again, thankful to all our customers. So all our customers, you know, any of you here, you know, we really thank you for what we have done here. I think in the last 10 years, Salesforce has grown really, really fast. Now, these are global numbers. Uh, we are $34.9 billion ended last year, and now we have a, a guidance of $38 billion. And all of this has happened only because of our customers, the trust that our customers put into our technology, the confidence that our customers show into our technology. We are the most innovative company. We, we also have a philanthropy uh, section to that, and we are the most ethical company. But this is all global. What about Salesforce India? So if you look at Salesforce India, and you know, this is, by the way, you know, our chairman and CEO is uh, Ms. Arundhati Bhattacharya. You know, everybody is talking about women in the house. We have a leader who is women and you know, who's a charismatic leader of India. So Arundhati Bhattacharya, who was the chairman of SBI, is now the chairman and CEO of Salesforce India. We are growing at a steadfast rate of 50% last year and 35% year, and we are, we are seeing the speed of this growth really coming a lot of it from the manufacturing sector. You know, and that's why we've now set up a separate vertical called Industries to focus on manufacturing vertical, and that's where I belong. And again, uh, you know, if Salesforce was a boy, you know, I think uh, he would be young enough to get married now. We are just 25-year-old company, so we are the youngest company to reach a milestone of $34.8 billion of revenue. But how are we doing this? You know, and I'll probably take a minute here to talk about our core foundation. And these are our values. Trust is our number one value. When we talk to our customers, right, you really trust us. Because when you put your data into our cloud, you really trust us. And you see the small man there. Uh, you know, we call him Einstein. He says, your data is not our product. Right? When you put your data into our cloud, we can rest assured it's very, very safe. We don't sell your product. We, your data is your. Yeah, somebody agrees with me. So your data is not our product. But again, how are we doing it? By delivering customer success every time. You, the last chart you saw, right, the revenue chart, all our licenses are subscriptions. So at every point of time, customer has a choice of stopping that subscription and moving to some, somebody else. Right? We have so many subscriptions on our phone. So you always have a choice. But all our customers have stayed with us because we've made those customers successful. We've delivered value to our customers so that they can deliver value to their customers. And then how are we doing it? By innovation. So uh, again, I know I had 15 minutes. So what I did was I'm going to wrap up my presentation quickly. And I'm going to show you a quick demo of what we're doing with AI. When I say innovation, right? everybody speaks about innovation. I'll show you AI live into our production. And then equality, sustainability, I think these are also, again, key pillars for us. Sustain uh, sustainability, so we are a net zero company today. September 2022, since then, we are net zero. Uh, and while we were doing on our, while we were uh, on our net zero journey, we actually came up with a solution called net zero. And now it's available for our customers to use as well. So if you are wanting to get onto a path of net zero, we have a solution for you called net zero and we can help you on that journey. There are some of the customers that we have sold to. A lot of these customers are from the Western world, but because, you know, they signed for the, uh, marketing so we could put their logos here and the Indian customers we couldn't. But, but in the last slide, like you saw, we are a 6,000 crore company in Salesforce India itself and growing at a 35% growth rate. 
great. So what we see in manufacturing today, right, from Salesforce perspective, we really see the manufacturing is evolving. And how is it evolving? By creating value to your customers. So what are some of the levers that we have seen in the, in the market, right? We've seen the manufacturing is actually moving from product related to solution related, right? I think what we are saying is, instead of giving an asset, we will deliver value. Instead of, you know, CapEx, we'll do OpEx, and we'll see how we can deliver more and more value to our customers. From service perspective, we're saying we'll never be reactive, but we'll be prescriptive, we'll be proactive. From a channel perspective, we'll say the channel has to be collaborative. So we're seeing a lot of these change in manufacturing industry, and, and, and like I said, the manufacturing is really evolving at a very fast pace. So when manufacturing, what are the elements that help you manufacturing and give that customer experience to your customers? So you have suppliers, you have engineers, you know, all of these elements. The problem is, these are fragmented today. The tools, the application, the systems, they are fragmented today. So when a customer is engaging with you for any of these elements, he gets fragmented experience. And that's what Salesforce can help you do. What Salesforce helps you do is keep your customer in the center. So whatever you're manufacturing in your factory, how can you keep that customer in the center when you're manufacturing? How do you take that feedback from that customer, improve your product? When the customer is talking to you for services, how do you really give him that experience so that he comes back to you? Right? Today, we might actually spend a little more for a product because we are getting a good service. So how do you give that service to that customer? How do you how do you uh, give help to your technician? You know, because we are a country, we are a most populous country, and we have a lot of talent. So how do you give help to the technician so that he can upskill himself very quickly and give that service to your customers? So these are the elements that Salesforce helps you to do by keeping a customer in the center. So some of the elements that we do, you know, these are some of the modules and some of the elements that we do. But what I'm going to really talk about is this. So some of the examples, and these are, and you'll see some of the Indian names here. We help customers you know, modernize their commercial operations. Right? Some of your commercial operations could be really, really legacy. We can help you modernize that. We can really bridge the gap between your physical and your, custom, your, your products and your customer. We can bridge that gap for you. We can transform your service experience. You know, somebody talk about servitization. Servitization is one stream of revenue for all of our manufacturing customers. We, you can really bank on that serve. You can increase the service quality for your customers, and you can really see that service suddenly becomes a profit center. Your service center becomes a profit center for you. Simplifying partner engagement. You know, all our manufacturing industries, the way we serve our customers is through a channel, through B2B, B2B2C, to our distributors, retailers. How do you make that channel engagement simpler? That is what we can help you for. And then last but not the least, when you collect all of this data, the insights, what are the most profitable segments? What are the segments where there are problems? What are the products that there are problems? What are the repeatable issues? So how do you derive those actions and insights out of the data? So this is the vision from Salesforce for manufacturing. And you know, if, if, I, if I want you to leave my session, the, the things that I want to live with is we want our customers to believe that we are the number one digital customer engagement platform, and we can really make it happen for you. And how do we make it happen for you? By using AI, by using data, and by using CRM.